Hello amazing people, this is your little Pinay Jen and I'm back in my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you are all doing great and that you are all healthy and happy. In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Japanese history here in Davao City. I went to three different locations that have a lot of Japanese history. The first location I went to was Jack's Ridge, which was the headquarters of the Japanese army at the end of the World War II. The second location I went to was an amazing museum called the Japanese Filipino Museum, which I will cover in great detail. And finally, the last location was at the Japanese Tunnel, right in the heart of the Davao City. I hope you enjoy this video and learn a little bit about the Japanese history and the occupation here in Davao City. So without further ado, let's get on with this video. Currently, I'm here in the Jacks Ridge restaurant and this place was used to be a headquarters of the Japanese during the end of the World War II. So we are going to check it out. Look at this view right here guys. It's you can actually see the Davao City up here. And it's very beautiful. The first location I went to was Jacks Ridge. The area where Jack's Ridge now stands used to be part of the Japanese headquarters during the end of World War II. The Japanese soldiers were forced to retreat to the Matina Hills when the Americans landed in Davao in May of 1945. Here, they could secure a panoramic view of the Gulf where the American ships were waiting. This area is where the Japanese army made their last stand before the Americans overtook Jack's Ridge. These hills actually have tunnels, but they are privately owned and I cannot go to them. They say that if you have a metal detector and can go through these hills, you can actually still find bullets, Japanese memorabilia and other items from World War II. I was disappointed that they really had no World War II information at this location. What they now have is a beautiful hilltop location with very nice restaurants that are a bit pricey. I understand the nighttime view is a beautiful location for a romantic meal. If you go down a long staircase, you can go down towards the gardens. Jack's Ridge is actually very beautiful with lots of beautiful flowers and vegetation. While researching Jack's Ridge, there's actually a Japanese plane somewhere on this hill but once again, the land is privately owned and you cannot go to this location. It is unfortunate because the Japanese plane looks like it is in very good shape when you see it online. Well, those subscribers who know me know that I love to seek photographs and like any Filipina, we love taking pictures of ourselves. Hello guys, today I'm here at Philippine Japanese Museum. Let's go and check it out. As you can see from this map, the museum is approximately 50 minutes from downtown Davao. It was very easy to get to with a paved road all the way up to the Philippine Japan Historical Museum, which is located at a private school. 
I was so surprised how incredible the museum was. It exceeded all of my expectations and was so well done and in beautiful shape. I had a free tour guide. She was very knowledgeable about the history of the Japanese starting from the early 1900s through World War II and up to the current times. She explained the first Japanese landed in Davao in April 1903 as contract laborers to work for the Awad plantation. Finally here inside the Japanese museum and as you can see it's very clean very organized and it's really really looks so beautiful Japanese migrated to Davao to engage in the production of abaca the plant is grown commercially for its fibers which are used as raw materials for pulp cordage or rope the Japanese love this product to make rope for their Navy it was the number one cash crop for many years here in Davao. I welcome you to the little Tokyo. Let's get inside. So guys, this is this machine is a rice miller. Look how cool it is. This one is an antique bicycle. It looks so cool. Here is a some kind of a bakery. And look, this is very awesome. This is a dental, I mean antique dental chair. And this family right here donated this way back before. A Japanese time. The Japanese community continued to grow and eventually the biggest Japanese community in Southeast Asia was found in Davao, with its number reaching as high as 20,000 people. That is why they called Davao the Little Tokyo of the Philippines. The most significant Japanese economic ventures anywhere in Southeast Asia were concentrated in the area around Davao. This museum did an amazing job of showing Japanese life here in the city of the Davao. There were so many beautiful statues and amazing artifacts donated by Japanese families to make this museum so incredible and interesting. There's a large section inside the museum that talks about the Japanese invasion of the Philippines and shows amazing World War II Japanese artifacts. Davao was among the first cities in the Philippines to be occupied by Japanese troops. The Japanese swept through Mindanao in a six-month campaign. In 1942, the Japanese invaded the U.S.-controlled Philippine island of Mindanao. Filipino and American forces under General Douglas MacArthur surrendered to Japanese forces in May 1942. One very fun part of the museum was you could try on a traditional Japanese kimono. My tour guide assisted me in putting on this beautiful Japanese clothing. It was so fun to wear this and take photographs. Like a 
it was difficult to walk in this very tight dress. You had to take short choppy steps. It was so fun. Today I'm here at the Japanese Tunnel from World War II and I'm going to give you a tour. My final destination was the Japanese Tunnel close to the downtown area of Davao. The 300 meter long tunnel was discovered by the landowners while excavating the area in preparation for a hotel construction. Passageways, rooms, and other artifacts were discovered inside the tunnel. It was later confirmed that the tunnel was dug out by war prisoners by order of the Japanese Imperial Army during the Second World War. The tunnel was used as headquarters for the Japanese army. There were many small chambers used as offices and dungeons for prisoners. Vintage guns, explosives and other ammo were also found inside the tunnel. This tunnel is approximately 10 times longer than what we can see with many chambers in all directions. But that area is cut off because it is privately owned by other landowners. Some areas were large enough to drive vehicles into it and were used for this purpose during World War II. It was really fascinating to go inside here. I would highly recommend this be on the top of your list of things to do in Davao. As you can see, Japanese history in and around Davao is full of interesting facts. I highly recommend you to go these three locations so you can learn more about Japanese here in Davao. I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to thank everybody for your love and support here on my little channel. I so much enjoy reading all your comments and suggestions. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Hit like button if you enjoyed this video and leave me comments down below. And as always, can't wait to see you on my next video. Bye!